say. Come on in. Stay for those that's joining on. Hey, how are how are y'all? Guys, say I'm not gonna be long because I'm taking a break from working for a few minutes. Um but I'm not going to be long. Uh, but I miss y'all. I miss y'all. I haven't been on here because work has been a lot. A lot. I ain't going to be here long, so let me move on. Um, hey, how are you guys say? Listen, I'm not, again, I'm not going to be here long. We're just coming in just to speak and make sure everybody's still doing good. Everybody's staying cool cool and keeping your right frame of mind. I'm going to unplug this because this is stretching and it's doing too much. I'll plug it back up in a minute. Um, but just making sure everybody is doing good. Checking on everybody. Making sure y'all are alright. And um, holding your head up. Holding on to your faith. Bishop been talking about faith um, and all those good things. And making sure, hey lady how are you guys today? Making sure everybody has went out and checked out the website, guysday81.com. If you have not already, go check out the website, guysday81.com. And there's um, information on there for you. There's um, ways you can ask questions and um, ask questions, interact with what's going on on the website. There's some good things on there, and I would love to receive your feedback um, on there as well. So it is guysday81.com, so please check it out. And um, email is guysday81 at gmail.com. So check that out. Don't forget about the podcast. Podcast is still going. So the podcast is Guys Day. Um, check that out. And I'm happy. I'm adding something else right now. Um, I read. I haven't did Twitter in a while, but I started back up Twitter. So check out Twitter. <laughs> we out there. We on there. Um, Twitter is there. And um, something that I'm going to have to... I've also decided to do Pinterest. So, go out there. Pinterest, my Pinterest is not because I just started it, but go check it out though. Um, follow me on Pinterest. I'm a, Once I finish, um, I had to go and work on, go back to the website and do some other little stuff on there. But once I, um, and I'm almost, almost finished with it. Hey, how are you guys today? Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna be long. I just wanted to. I haven't been on here in a little in a little while, so I was. Work has gotten me like this work that they that we got is serious, like really, really serious. So um, hold on, y'all. This thing here. So, um, yeah, I wanted to come back on here and just let y'all know everything's still up and running. But my job has been a lot over the past couple of weeks. It has been a lot. Like, we've been working. I've been working on Saturdays. So, it's been serious. And it's still serious. So, I decided to take a break and uh, come speak to y'all for a few minutes. Uh, making sure everybody's in a right frame of mind. Everybody's still staying, staying safe. And keeping your, um, keeping everything, you know, y'all know all that good stuff. Um, I don't like to talk about this, what's going with this COVID and all that over it. Um, but 
I just wanted to make sure that I came back on here and let y'all know, guys, they are still up and running. Not to forget about the podcast. Check out the website. Um, now we don't add it, Twitter and Pinterest. So check both of those out. Um, if you have not already followed on Instagram, please go and follow on Instagram as well. And if you have not followed the God's Day page on Facebook, please go like, share, and follow the um, Facebook page. As well as follow um, the new Freeman Chapel Missionary Baptist Church page, the Lip Gloss for Love page, and the fam- the Faith fam- Faith Fellowship of Churches page. It's a lot. It's a lot. So um, if you have not already went to go and like those pages, please go do so. And continue to follow God's Day. We would love for y'all to be a part of what God's Day is, is got going on. Of course, like I said, it's some more stuff being done. I just haven't got to it yet. But for now, I have um, the Pinterest up and running. But it's not where I want it with Pinterest. And... Um, but Twitter has been up. I just have not been using it. But I, I re, redid it. So you can um, follow us on Twitter and also on Pinterest. Um, so we have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, Pinterest, Twitter. It's a lot. If you go to the link um, in the website... Um, if you go to the link that's on this video, it's going to give you, um, show you the website. There's two different websites there. Um, hey, how are you guys day? One website is the actual website, guysday81.com. And that's where, like I said, a lot of good information on there. I'm still trying to add more stuff. I just, the initial website is up and running. So I went behind the scenes and fixed a few things and added on some new things. So if you see some things, you just be like, oh, okay, I'm still working on some stuff that I had to go back and fix. So, prayerfully, t- today I have all of that done. But in the meantime, in between time, still go and check it out. Let me know what you think about what you've seen so far. Check out each blog page. Um, when you click on blog, the blog that blog actually has a page. And then it goes to my blog and then the other blogs that are on there. So go and check it out. Let me know what y'all think about the website. Um, The Whispers in the Pews page is for everybody. That's for you to ask your questions or to um, put your input on whatever somebody else has asked or anything like that. All that information is, is there. And again, like I said, I built the website. Um, yay, I did it myself. It took me a minute, but I'm happy about it. I'm excited about it. Um, but if you, um, the, I, I built the website, but it's for everybody to go in, be a part of it, to ask your questions. There's a page, a page on there that says, ask the bishop, ask him questions. And he'll respond back to it and say, hey, this is that, thus and so, whatever. Um, and if you don't want to put it on there and you just say, hey, this question is for bishop, but I don't want to. Uh, put it on there go ahead and email it guysday81 at gmail.com guysday81 at gmail.com and you can send the information there um but make sure that you know you don't be afraid to ask questions or to start a conversation um i think i posted something a while back maybe the first day or two that i launched the website um i was discussing um what was that question let me see. And I know I got on here. I'm going to have to stop there for a second. But I believe it was about, I want to get it right, so I'm pulling it up. But I, um, but that, like I said, the information, the website is not only for me, it's for you too. For you to get information, I'm going to add a um, advertising page. So if you want to advertise your business, your church, um, you selling some stuff or whatever, it won't be like all of the stuff you sell is going to be right there. But people will be able to like click on your link or your information and it'll take them to 
where they want to let me see it's under the whispers and the pews it will be it will go to your information to assist so if you say hey i want people to to follow me on instagram you'll put the instagram information there and this is what's going on or if you have information about a child fair or about where people can get food or get some type of assistance or something you can click on you can add that on there and be able to click it and it'll take you directly to whoever it is or their business page or whatever i want to do something so it, but it'll have an advertisement and if you can't add it be able to put it out there i'll do it um that way people can come and see information and come and support you even if you have a website you can put it there and say hey i want to um put this out there about what we got going on or an event because i know people starting to do stuff more now um so i want to make sure that everybody have the opportunity they can go ahead and put their information out there um Okay, so the question was that I put it on here, and y'all can go on here and respond to it. Um, I think this says June 4th. It's a serious question. If a man forces his wife to have sex with him, even though she says no, is it still considered rape? And I think I put it on the Guys Day Facebook page, but I also added it on the website. So stuff like that, because, you know, some people may feel away may feel some type of way about it might be like no it's not really considered um rape because that's a husband then you got some people be like no means no like he not supposed to be doing that he forcing himself on me and he ain't supposed to be doing that so some people have different feelings about it and i put it on instagram too and some people was just like oh yeah rape is rape if i say no that means no i don't care if he is my husband um so it's a you know some people feel a way about it so it's just about how you how you feel but this is stuff like this that's on the tab it's under whispers in the pews and these are questions or something that's something i put on there um and it may be something crazy or whatever i think something oh yeah i was wondering do people still eat raisins that was me i want to know do people still eat raisins that's still nasty okay that's just my opinion but it's just little things like that. I'm just giving you an example of things that have been posted. Of course, I had a friend of mine. She had posted a question out there, and um, you can go and read it and add your input to it um, on what you think um, about what she asked or whatever. So, again, please go and check out the website, godsday81.com. Please go, and if you have any questions, you you want to be a guest on the God's Day podcast, you can. You can um, email me, and again, if we don't have to meet up, we can if you want to, and we can sit down and discuss a topic. As long as it's not nothing explicit or anything that I have to put like a cunt, you know, put an age on there or whatever, we can sit and talk about whatever you want to, um, and have a good conversation about whatever um, because that um, it's a lot of people that may have questions they may be afraid and you may not you may be the person to say let me talk about it or if it has something to do with like um, um, some type of awareness that's going on uh, domestic violence um, mental illness um, any type of diseases um, family, kids, relationships, all of those things. Hey, how are you guys? Say any of those things. I would like to talk about it. Doesn't matter what it is, whatever the situation is, whatever it is. Um, my hair keep pulling about this AirPod out. Lord Jesus. So, but whatever it is, we just want to make sure that we talk about it and put it out there. And like I said before, you may have questions about something that um you're afraid to talk about and maybe somebody else will you you send that question out there for somebody else to ask and i'm that person i put it out there and you just be like oh she's just gonna really ask i am i would really ask and find out if that's something that you was you know because since you don't want to talk about it put your name you know you actually talking about it then yeah that would be something that that um that i could put out there for you um, to get the conversation started and to get um, answers to um, for what you need, just in case you're not you're not being the one that wants to ask the questions or whatever. Um, so that's something else that you can do. So again, you want to um, talk about any of those things, any type of awareness, any type of um, issues, family, anything. We talk about it. Put it out there. 
and uh, discuss it. Um, especially, like I said, now everything is opening back up. And, you know, folks don't even care. They don't even, it don't even matter, so whatever. Um, so, again, please, if you have not already went to go check out the website, please do. Guys, say 81.com. Again, great information out there. Good um, ways for you to communicate with other people. Um, just in case um, you don't see it nowhere else or people, whatever, you can go on there and put your information on there. And also sign up to be subscribed for the email list. Um, I think I'm going to change how I'm doing that uh, on the website. But for now, it's at the bottom of the home page. When you go all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see subscribe mailing list. Subscribe there. That way when um, new information is being updated, a new blog has been posted, um, new comments have been out there, whatever updates is going on, you will already get the information first before people that have not signed up or if there is something because I'm working on, like I said, some other stuff I'm working on behind the scenes um, to bring to the forefront to make guys stay better, to make it bigger. Um, that I'm working on um, It's a lot of work de dealing with this kind of stuff It's a lot of work um, But I just wanted to um, Make sure that y'all go and check out the su Subscribe to the mailing list Please do that um, When you go to the website again It's godsday81.com It's attached to this video Along with the link tree link Yep, and once you click on the link tree link, link It's going to pop up with all of these great Um social media platforms that you can click on and say hey I want to be I want to subscribe to this I want to like and follow her there and this and that and the other all that information is just right there you don't have to go and scream what she say it's on what I put it all in one spot you go to Instagram the link is at the top of the Instagram page you go to Facebook guys day page the link is at the top of the Facebook page but it, on the, every video that I put, it's going to have that link tree or, and the website on there. And, of course, all the social media stuff is on the website, too. So you can just go on there and click it, and it's going to pop up. So I pray that y'all go and check out the website. Let me know what you think. Email me, guys, say 81 doc, guys say 81 at gmail.com. And, um, again, the podcast is up and running. Um, I do need to upload some more episodes. I got a lot. Got a lot of episodes I need to upload, but I wanted to. Um, and there is a podcast page on the website too, so you can go. It's a, of course it's a podcast, and then there are some episodes there. There's not. It's like forty something, I think, but I have way more than that. But I have been able to upload some more. But if you are already following the God's Day podcast on any social media platform, either one of the, I won't say social media, I'll say podcast platforms, you will see um, once the, a, a new episode is uploaded, it's going to pop up and let you know, oh, hey, God's Day got a new episode out there. And you're going to be like, oh, yeah. So if you go on there, iHeart, Spotify, uh, Deezer, Spreaker, um, Apple, Google, Podcast Chaser, Podcast Addict, any of those, you can go out there and download all the episodes all in your free time. Just go ahead and download them and hey, just say, hey, let me know what you think. We've been doing the podcast since February. The website's been out for about three weeks now. I believe it's been three weeks, two or three weeks it's been out. And with that uh, being said, I told you guys, they is doing more. Um, some good things is coming up. And I have something next month I got to do. I'm going to tell you all about it. Once everything gets put together, I'm going to tell you about it. What's going on next month um, that I have to do. Um, but I just want y'all to just spread the word. Tell everybody about the website. Let me know what you think about the website. How you feel. Um, interact with it. Put your questions out there. Um, email. All those good things, do that because guys, they got all that. We got all that. So, um, and, and please be interactive with, also be interactive with our YouTube channel, which is Whispers, Whispers in the Pews. Um, so if you see Whispers in the Pews on the website, on anything that's being posted, a link tree link, click on it. It's going to take you straight to the YouTube channel. Um, 
there are some out there that are Facebook um, lives that are like this. They'll just go straight to YouTube. And then you have the podcast um, that automatically is audio. But that's fine. If you want video, you have to go back to Facebook or wait till I upload the video for it. But for the most part, that is out there. So I pray that it's something that y'all can listen to and y'all can, um, it's information that can help y'all. Um, and I pray that whatever God's day is doing is great to you. You love the content that is coming on, um, posting or whatever. Also, I was telling y'all earlier to go like, share, and follow the Lip Gloss for Love page. And if you have not already, please do so. They Lip Gloss for Love is a nonprofit organization for non I mean for um domestic violence. So if you see that I am not the organizer, I am not in on the on none of that. I um do the social media side. So if you see postings from social media about domestic violence for lip gloss for love, that's me posting, okay? Um, so interact with that as well. Get your family and friends. You never know who may need that information. Share that information. Let people know. Say, hey, if you need help, I don't know if you do. And it ain't just for women because men can be um, have domestic violence issues as well. So just make sure that you're going out there to um, support. Like, share, and follow their page. It's called Lip Gloss for Love. Um, and we're trying to reach a, at least a thousand likes so go like it don't follow it go like it okay don't just like it go i mean don't just follow go like it um and share you if you got two thousand people on your facebook page and you sharing the information out of those two thousand you don't know you may have five they may need that information because you shared it, they see it. They can't talk about it, but if they see the information, they may be able to call that number that is on there or visit that website, be able to get out or see some information there that will help them get out of the situation that they're in. So make sure that we're sharing that information. So it don't cost nothing to, to share somebody's information. I've been posting on the Guys Day page about sharing your business uh, information. Go on there and put it in the comments or post it on the page and say, hey, this is my business. I'm needing support. Um, this is what I'm doing. I just thought it up or I need help or whatever. And let's help each other out. It takes a second to share somebody's information. It ain't just for business, for churches too. I know a lot of people are still afraid to go to church, but we still going to Walmart. I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm just saying. Um, but in, in, you all heard today that in Texas, they talking about opening up the schools. So, yeah. So, what, what are we doing? Um, but anyway, make sure that you're going to support. And like I said, if it's you that has a business or you know somebody that has a business, they're just about to get it started up, they're about to do something um, with their business, go and put it on there. That way other people can go and support them and share and be there for them with, what they, um, with their business adventures or whatever. It takes a second to share. It takes a second to post something about somebody's information. So make sure we do that. Don't forget about God's Day website, godsday81.com. Email godsday81 at gmail.com. Sorry. <laughs> Don't forget about the podcast, which is God's Day. Don't forget about um, YouTube, which is Whispers in the Pews. And I think it was something else. Go like, share, and follow the God's Day page, the New Freeman Child Permissionary Baptist Church page, the Lip Gloss for Love page, and also the Faith Fellowship of Churches page. Don't forget to go like these pages. Go and support, share. If it's not information you can use, maybe some information somebody else can use. Let's stay positive, stay encouraged, hold your head up, stay blessed, stay blessed, stay in, mind your own business, stay in your own your own business, okay? Um, and hold your head up. God is still listening to your prayers. Don't give up on that. Keep praying. Keep reaching for um, the things that God has has already placed in you to do. Keep going for that. Don't turn your back on that. Keep keep reaching forward. You got it. Okay, so I'm going to go. I just want to make sure that y'all still know that I'm still here. And I take a little break and uh, come on here and let y'all know that I'm still here. Work has took over. Okay, before I forget, I do want to, um, I don't know, I didn't see her pop on here, but I wanted to want to. Oh, I do have something else after this. Um, this is a paparazzi necklace that I have, and it says a mom with a key. Um, really cute. But I wanted to let you all know about a Wanna Braxton Morgan with Heavenly Anointed Jews for $5, and this is one of the pieces that I got from her. So, 
check out any of these paparazzi consultants and let them know, hey, I want that key with the mama on it. Oh, mom. Let me say mama, not mama. Um, but it's long. That's why I had to pick it up because it's long. Um, and I wanted to uh, just let you all know there's something that I received from her. These earrings is not from paparazzi. So, but um, I did want to. Oh, and the paparazzi mermaid bracelet. I did get from a Warner Bracelet Morgan too. So let's support them. Tiana Smith, paparazzi consultant. Um, C. Era Smith, paparazzi consultant. I'm forgetting somebody else. Lady Ramika Johnson, paparazzi consultant. I know I'm forgetting somebody else. Pray for me here. But y'all heard all them. So. Uh, but I'm going to go because I'm going to get some more work done. And I want y'all to have a blessed rest of y'all evening. Stay cool. Stay blessed. Stay up. Stay aware of what's going on. Don't be distracted. We made it out. It's past the key. Um, but let's make sure that we're doing it. And uh, remember, God loves you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Talk to y'all later. Don't forget about the website, guysday81.com. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye.